Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Star Wars Battlefront Podcast. Episode 2. Today, we are going to be discussing the season pass, and we're going to be telling you tips and tricks about the new Battlefront game. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the season pass first. It is $50, and it comes with... It comes with four expansions to the Star Wars Battlefront game. Okay, let's talk about some of the um, uh, statistics. The first thing you will get, one of the things you will get, is a 20 new galactic pieces of tech, including weapons, vehicles, and star cards for both rebels and imperial. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some uh, heroes. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some heroes and villains. Vehicles. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a lightsaber that you could get for a normal character? Yeah, two OP. That would be awesome. Okay, let's talk about some of the vehicles you will think will they'll have. So they're obviously going to have some new heroes and villain vehicles. That was a mouthful. So, but which ones? I'm thinking like the Imperial shuttle. Very true. Or maybe the. I'm trying to think of some. Wouldn't it be funny if you could be uh, in the, one of those land speeders that Luke has? My suggestion. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That would be so funny. You're riding in space trying to shoot people out of the cockpit. That is kind of uh, stupid and I just dismissed it from my mind. Okay. <laughs> Next we're going to be talking about the four new heroes and villains that are apparently going to come. So obviously we're going to have two villains and two heroes. One in each expansion. Um, one that we know for sure is going to be Chewbacca. Yeah, Chewbacca's a given. Automatic, yes. Uh, I think uh, one of the vil- or one of the heroes is going to be either Yoda or Obi Wan, maybe. Um, next, I think that they're going to have Boss possibly, and they need a Sith to match the Obi Wan slash Yoda. But they don't have any Siths in the original trilogy. They can make they- their own. They might be able to get S- Star Killer in there. What do you think about that? That'd be pretty cool. That would be. But he's not a villain, is he? He starts out as a villain. But he's not at the end. (laughs) Well, Darth Vader starts out as a villain, and at the end, he's a hero. But, you know. Spoilers. Okay, well, that's enough discussing. Okay, next to what? The sixth additional multiplayer maps featuring new locations. What do you think about that, Sage? 16. Now, what did I say? (laughs) Six. I thought it said 16. Okay, 16 additional multiplayer maps. (laughs) <laughs> I'm thinking they're gonna add <laughs> what are you doing okay so obviously they're going to be adding some additional ma- maps <laughs> <laughs> some maps to the standing worlds wouldn't it be do they have a Death Star map in this they should if they don't have a Death Star map in the game they should they need to add some more planets like Yavin 4 yeah and Let's see, they've got Hoth, Tatooine, Endor, Endor, and Sullust. It'd be cool to go on Coruscant. Or like that lava planet Mustafar, I think. That would be cool too. Or maybe, let's see, Cloud City. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be a cool air map. They have the whole world, but maybe you could uh, go, you start off at the world part and then go up to the Cloud City, you can fight there too. That would be pretty cool. And what else do we have in this, Sam? We have four new game modes. I'm thinking one of these might be a conquest kind of game from the uh, Battlefront 2. Yeah, or maybe that uh, capture the flag kind of thing in the original Battlefront. It would be really cool to have a capture the flag play on Battlefront. But if they don't, they have an excuse for it. Hey, we've got a drop zone. It's a capture flag. News for you. Drop zone sucks. Don't been told. Yeah, for some reason, the rebels always leave. Or the people that play that when they become rebels always leave, and you're only stuck with two rebels on there. And the rest of the Imperials are like, hey, I'm sticking with the Imperials because Imperials are cool. Because rebels suck. Also, um, just some off topic news. You can actually, and there's some new character. Characterizations. <laughs> Characterizations. <laughs> okay, there's also some new character customizations. Like, you can be a stormtrooper without the helmet. Just blew your helmet off. Which is pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. It looks weird, though. You I got thought this, they were a rebel. You got this beefed up body, and then you got this tiny head running around. 
And they seem to be the same faces as the rebels. Yeah, so you could customize your own face to take up your helmet. What I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. I don't really have many suggestions of what the four new game modes will be, though. But you pretty much... What is the deal with people wanting a conquest mode when the conquest mode and the original Battlefront was just playing the maps you already have in random? I don't know, Sage. I don't think you have your information right. <laughs> That's pretty much what you did in the original, in the second one, right? And we pick our own custom map. Conquest is where you go from planet... Galactic Conquest is where you go in the space area. Well, normal Conquest, you go from planet to planet conquering as either rebels or... Stormtroopers. I, I know a game mode. Space battles. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That would be awesome. They do have dogfights, which is not as cool as space. Because I love going in space and going in their ship and blowing up their generators. Yeah, I like how you can just get into your ship, go to another ship, blow it up, get in back into your ship, get out of the one that you just blew up, go to another one. Yeah, but I had trouble landing. Yeah, it's really hard to land, and the NPCs take your ship. <laughs> okay, also, you will obviously get the two-week early access to each expansion. And finally, you get the exclusive shoot first emote. I have no idea what that looks like. Maybe it's kind of like the Han shot first. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So now let's get on to the Battlefront tips. So we've got tip number one. Before you get into Walker Salt, rank up in Drop Zone or some other small multiplayer mode. Like Heroes vs. Villains or something like that. Because you need it. You need you the experience. You should at least have the Iron Shot and the Cycler Rifle. Star Card and a main weapon like the A2... ADC, which has really far range, which helps you in the bigger maps. Also, you want to always pay attention to the map. So the mini map that is on your screen gives every all the information that you need in this game. If there's a person by you, I believe it shows it to you. If there's like a big drop or if the map is blank, don't go over there. You're going to get killed by Oxygen, Wookie, or... Wampa or a Tusken Raider, something like that. And also another tip is pick your hero slash villain to the map. So if you're playing in a really open map, you want to be Boba Fett. And you're playing like, say, indoor, you can be like um, Emperor Palpatine, but he can basically be on any map. So if you're on a big map, pick someone who can shoot. And if you're on a small map, pick someone who can slice them up with lightsabers. I also have another game mode that could be on um, the game Beast Mode, where you become Wampas or Wookiees and that kind of yeah, Tusken Raiders. That'd be so awesome. Okay, hit the square or X while the semicircle in is in yellow, the little thing that tells if your gun's going to overheat. And your gun will instantly be ready for firing. In Battlefront, you don't have to reload as in other shooters because the bullets are lasers so they're pretty much batteries yes and also use a um i mean use ion shot for ATATs and atsts it does tons of tons uh, of damage tons <laughs> of damage man tons of damage when you're when you capture a pot it drops power up so be sure to click, get those before everybody else does and so you can be that guy. And also, Princess Leia and Palpatine can summon their own power-ups. Which is pretty cool. So if you're in Heroes vs. Villains, you can drop a hero's health and then pick it right up to gain your health. What I'm looking forward to is being a shock trooper. That is pretty cool. What kind of guns do they have? I'm not sure, but they are overpowered. They have the hero slash villain health, which doesn't regenerate, but you take less damage. It's bigger. Yeah, and since the beta, they updated where, you know, in the, if you're a hero, Luke, or Darth Vader, you lost health. They stopped that. Which you, is really awesome. So if you t lose health, you don't regen it. You stay that, but you don't lose in it either. That's awesome. Because it was crap, because you have to keep finding people to kill, and every second you lose one health. And then if you're a stormtrooper or rebel, you can't kill the other people because you got to save those for Luke. 
that just defeats the whole purpose of the game. Yes, and also they updated where you can be any villain on any map. Because used to, like, on Hoth, you can only be Darth Vader, but now you can actually be Boba Fett. Yeah, it looks so crazy seeing Boba Fett on Hoth, jumping yeah. from the ice sculptures everywhere. He's not dressed for it. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay, another person who's not dressed for it is uh, Han Solo. Yeah. He's just got a short sleeve shirt on. Princess Leia is definitely dressed with her white puffy suit. <laughs> yeah, marshmallow suit. But that's about it for this episode of the... Star Wars Battlefront Podcast. Thanks for listening. If you would like to see our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel is Tie Dye Sheep Films. If you would like to follow us, our Twitter is. It is at Tie Dye Sheep YT. And then please, if you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please subscribe and rate us. It helps a lot. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>